Recently, I saved this HP Elite Office computer from getting thrown out in the trash. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning it up and restoring it. And then we're going to be seeing if it can run any games. Now, don't have high expectations because this thing was literally getting thrown out. Probably because it was too slow. But we're going to find out in this video what kind of games it could run. And maybe in the future, I'll throw some upgrades at it. So, let's begin the cleaning process. <music> Alright guys, I am done cleaning up this HP system and it was pretty gross, like it was actually like making my hands dirty picking it up, but most of the dirt seemed to be on the outside of the case, the inside and the parts were actually not that dirty besides this uh, GT620. And this was the best I could do cleaning it up without taking off the heat sinks, it's got these really annoying little push pins. So after cleaning up this case, I noticed that it's not really in that great a shape. It's got a broken USB 3 port at the top, which I knew about already, but there's just a ton of scratches and little marks and dings in this case, which might not come up very well on camera. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up throwing some upgrades into this in a different video and also maybe recase it into like a cheap gamer case or cheap office case, something like that. But anyways, for now, in this video, we're going to go ahead and reassemble this and we're going to see what type of games can we play on a free PC.
So now that I got this office computer all cleaned up, let's go ahead and talk about the specs for this system. So I'm sure you've gotten a glimpse at what the specs were uh, throughout the montages, but for the CPU, we got an AMD FX6120, which is a quote unquote six core, six thread processor. It's a whole thing on why they're not actually six cores. I believe this is like a slightly downclocked version of the FX6300 and is for like maybe OEMs only. For RAM, we have eight gigs of DDR3 memory, the sticker on the side of the computer says it's supposed to have 10 gigs, but this one actually has 8. And for benchmarking, I actually did upgrade it to 16, just to give this thing any chance it can get at performing well. For storage, this originally came with a 2TB hard drive, and then someone added in another 1TB hard drive later on. Unfortunately, the 2TB drive is no longer with us, which is kind of funny that it died before the 1TB drive, because I believe the 1TB drive is like 5 or 6 years older, and it's still going strong, it's got a good crystal disk uh, health, so I'm honestly surprised that it outlived the Seagate drive. For the graphics card, we have an NVIDIA GeForce GT620. This is a powerhouse with a whopping 1GB of VRAM, and this thing can absolutely crush 1080p gaming. If you couldn't tell, I'm being sarcastic. And then finally, for the power supply, we have a measly 300 watts with no external PCIe connector. So if I ever do want to upgrade the graphics card in the system, which I'm pretty sure I will end up doing, I'm going to have to get a little creative, maybe use a little adapters or something. So now that you got a rundown of the specs, let's go ahead and get to some game benchmarks. Alright guys, so the first game we're going to be testing on this system is Fortnite. Surprisingly, it launched, and the uh, graphical glitches in the main menu were definitely very promising. But at 720p with a 75% resolution scale, we got an average of 30 FPS with a minimum of 3. You could technically play Fortnite on this. It was a terrible experience. Anytime any action would happen, there would be some massive stutters, as you can see in the gameplay here. But, I mean... It's technically running Fortnite, which is honestly like something I didn't think would be possible on a system like this. Next up, why don't we try out a classic game, Bloons TD Battles. And at 1080p with the default settings, this computer had no problem. It was barely stressing it at all. We got an average of 57 FPS here. Now, this was in the beginning, so I'm sure as you get further into the game, it might drop a little bit in the FPS. But hey... This is basically a Flash game, and it's good to know that this computer can run Flash games at least. Next up is Terraria, which is a little bit more intensive of a game than Bloons TD Battles, but it's still a super easy game to run, and at 1080p with the default settings, we got a consistent 60 FPS average. Honestly, this is a perfect machine to play Terraria. And for the final game tested on the system, we have Minecraft 1.21. At 1080p with 8 chunk render distance and the fast graphics, we got an average of 62 FPS and a minimum of 13. That minimum was from when we were loading in chunks into the world. The footage that you're seeing here is not actually uh, recorded from the computer. This is footage I had to substitute in because I appear to no longer have the recording for Minecraft that I took on this system. So, this high pixel gameplay is good enough right overall minecraft was pretty playable although whenever you load into new chunks the system definitely begins to struggle now for the synthetic benchmarks we got 3d mark fire strike which i don't think is supposed to run in this system considering all the warnings that 3d mark tried to give me when i tried to launch this benchmark but after going through the painful benchmark experience we got a score of 459 which is, I think, the lowest that I've ever seen personally. And according to 3D Mark, this is the most powerful FX6120 and GT620 computer that has run this benchmark. So I currently hold the world record. If anyone wants to try and beat that record, feel free to let me know. And uh, I don't think you'll be able to do it because I think mine is just that good. All right, guys, so now that you've seen how this computer performs in some games, what do you think about this computer? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally think that this thing's got potential, despite the fact that it is absolutely ancient. I think if we throw some upgrades into this, I think we can make this a capable gaming PC for someone who's just looking to start out in PC gaming. And I'm hoping that I'd be able to sell this on uh, with the upgrades, of course, and hopefully that they'll be able to have a fairly decent gaming experience, not have this go back into the landfill. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. I plan on doing an upgrade video for this computer real soon, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you'll come back for the next one. So, if you do come back, I'll see you real soon.